All right, there's reports out there going around on Twitter that the Detroit Lions are going to go with uh, Penisa Well. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love and support. Um, man, we just talked about earlier, and I got this story first, that the Lions um, were probably going to go with Sewell after try the other story was trading up and trying to get um, Jamar Chase. But let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Try Detroit Lions Talk Playlist. Check the community tab out. Check my other channel. I'll go for the Sports TV for my full NFL 32 mock draft. We did the Detroit Lions mock draft the other day. And we will be going live, hopefully, later on the day. Let's final thoughts on the draft. But he says, wow. So we just got, uh, hold on. My bad. We're on, hold on. We're on, we're on, we're on. Talk to my partner. She be sending me this stuff most of the time. He said, the Lions are believed to be taking the Neil so well. If available, the new GM has... Seen firsthand for the Rams, what great interior players can do. And I have heard Dan Campbell's all for this pick. They would need to be blown away with a trade to pass on Swell. All right. Um, let's talk about it. All right. And, you know, you just look at him. Um, he more of a um, right tackle, so you can give you some guard, some right tackle play. Um, and the difference between Slater and people seeing Slater shut down um, – they see him slut, shut down. Hold on. They see him shut down um, uh, Chase Young. They see him shut down Chase Young. And, and also, he has the ability to play left tackle as well. Same thing with Dari Saw. He can play more left tackle, right tackle. So, well, is more um, of a right tackle guard type of guy. But what stops him from playing left tackle is arm length. He only had 33 and a half, 33 and one fourth arms. And that's what stopped him from playing. Left tackle. All right, you got to have a long arm to play left tackle, but, you know, but my bad. Um, But Swell arms ain't as short as they say. Uh, Just like one inch different from Trent Williams. All right. Um, So, really, they kind of see him as a right tackle, but they said they can't. He's been trained to play right tackle, left tackle as well, too. So, Darcy and Slater arms are pretty much the same. All right. Um a little bit longer. Darts are about the same. And Schlater is about the same. So, I mean, you know, like I said before, man, we look at the best left tackle in the league. I don't know. Who would it be? That's a great question. But we could use Jason Peter used to be one of the better tackles in the league. And um, just lose him for a minute. Talk about it. The reason why you need that arm length is because you got a same arm length. So, the reason you got to use that, that arm length where it's important is because... Once you get their hands on that offensive lineman, you know, you got to get on the lineman to, to beat them first, you know, to get on to control them. If you can't get your hands on them, they slap your hands down, get past you, whatever. Um, you're not, you're not going, you're not going, you're not going to win, you know, if you can recover. But arm length is very, very important. But um, like I said, with Swell, really, really good offensive lineman. Sound like he can play a little bit left too. But um, be a good pick, you know, it would. Solidify the offensive line for the Detroit Lions. Decker, Jonah Jackson. I call him Justin Jackson yesterday. Jonah Jackson, Frank Ragnow, Big V at right guard. Ability to play right tackle. So Will at right tackle. Um, and then you also you got the kid, um, Terrell Cross. You can play right tackle, left tackle, guard spots. And then you got a situation where um, um, Big V can play right. You got uh, Stenberg can play the guard position. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, just they can do a lot. You know, so they'd be a versatile line. The line would be complete if they can stay healthy. Even if they have some injuries, they got some guys that can do that. You just wonder where they treat um, Sewell like they did Ragnar. Ragnar played guard, worked with the center. Would Sewell play tackle, guard, workers with a tackle? Who knows? Because they can easily put Big V at right tackle. But I, you know what? You take him at number seven, he better be prepared to play right tackle right away. You know, and Taylor Decker was asked, was he worried about losing his job? And he said, no. You know, so. Pretty much, he got the same arm length as most tackles. So, um, it's talking about his, about his arm length, but I mean, I wouldn't be upset with the pick at all. I guess he would be happy with that pick, even if it's Slater or Dari saw, you know, somebody they had, they would complete a position with depth, you know, with versatility. Decker, Jonah Jackson, Frank Radnow, um, High Tide, Big V, Sewell, with Crossy backing up, Stenberg backing them up. They depth is. Their depth is way better. Um, it's way better this year, you know. And that's the deepest, deepest position they got so far.
You know, and I think Taylor Decker said he got short arms, but they got a article, I guess, back when he was drafted. They said Tech Lions draft pick Decker's paid a little mind to short arm talk. Decker, Detroit Lions pick 17 on Thursday overall, 6'7", 320. Um, but the league obsessed with measurements uh, down to the most, you know, fraction. Decker has been um, widely scrutinized for having less than ideal arm length. There seems to be a consensus that he has the arms and are shorter than 34 inches, 33 and, and 3 fourths inches by some accounts, uh, 32, 7, 8 by others. So what exactly is arm length? Taylor Decker said, I'm a clue what my arm length is. It's because, I mean, there's been so many me different measurements, different uh, said during conference calls with Detroit reporters. I've seen the people say that I have short arms, but I mean, I think at the end of the day, the things you need to do is watch films, watch the film, and see how it's effective. So I've heard uh, that as well, and I've heard a million different measurements for my arms. So that is what it is, um, but I think I can play football. So he had 33, some people say 32. Um, you look at Peters, 31, 33 and a half. So 34 is the measurement. So Will got 33 and one fourths. Um, Rashad Slater has 33 inch arms. Um, so they talking about him moving the tackle guard. So then you got Christian Darisaw. His arms are 34 and a half. So Darisaw has the most ideal arm length. 34 arm length is the uh, ideal arms length for uh, for a left tackle. So Darisaw has a, a more than ideal length. I think that's the guy I would go with. Strong, don't get moved back. And right tackle can easily play left tackle. So, like I said before, Darius off the guy I'll go with. Even over Sewell because his versatility is slide to left. But, you know, we got a couple guys that can play right tackle, right guard. If he takes Sewell, right tackle, right guard. Crosby, right tackle, left tackle, guard. We don't have nobody that can slide consistently to left tackle and be great. So, I would take Darius off, to be honest, you know. I like Sewell, but Darius is him. It's a big man, hard to move. Um, talk about Sewell. He ain't as big as man as him. Athletic, though, so is Darius. Um, that's who I go with. But, um, yeah, 6'6", 331. And, and Darius Sewell is weird. But I think he plays some left tackle, too. I like Sewell. I wouldn't mind him as well. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. And that article about Taylor Decker was from 2016 when he got drafted. But don't forget, we on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all my links there. Anytime you need to reach me for, you know, when I advertise your business on the channel, video requests, or whatever it may be, hit me up. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, CJ Good313. That's the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Don't forget, check my other uh, channel, Goodfellas Sports TV, for more sports news and news and entertainment. This is the mock draft over there last night. Put it in the community tab. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.